I was having a chat this morning with IG Culture and we were talking about machine and how wouldn't it be great if you built up a selection of patterns so you could switch between them and record what you're doing into your DAW. So we had a look and, uh, you know, I had a look on the forum, the machine forum, and it's very clear there's no ability to do this. But what we do have is the ability within machine to be able to switch scenes, okay? So to switch scenes via MIDI into the DAW. So that means we could record in MIDI notes to switch between the scenes. So, you know, we want to switch patterns. And that made me think, why don't we just set up one instance of machine with our selection of patterns and then create a separate scene per pattern and then switch the scenes. That's surely a way around this. Let me just show you something, right? Let me just play the composition so far. Go to the first pattern. I'll show you the variations that I've got as well. So you just be jamming away, flipping between them, just getting a vibe, seeing what works. I've got a little fill in this pad here. So that's what we do. So that improvised vibe of triggering those patterns and just getting a little kind of variation on the fly. We want to record that into the sequencer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to get up the instance of machine here and I'm um, just going to drag it onto the right monitor. So here's where we do it. We come up here and we say MIDI scene change, MIDI note. Okay. That's the first thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build up some scenes with these patterns. So I've got basically four, six different patterns. So that means I need six scenes. So pay attention to this. You have to follow this quite um, closely. I'm going to go to the first scene, right? So the first pattern, right? Go to the first scene. That's the one on there. We push duplicate. So we've got a new scene that's with the same pattern that we had before. So over here now, let's go to the second one. Now I'm going to duplicate that scene. So on this one, we're going to have pattern and we're going to have pattern three. So scene one is pattern one. Scene two is pattern two. Scene three is pattern three and so on. So duplicate again over here for scene duplicate. Let's come on here to pattern here. Here we go, we're on the fifth. We've got to have one more now. So let's duplicate and let's have pattern six. Let's have a look, let's just double check that. So we're gonna go through these patterns. Just gonna speed through this. So we want to replicate that with the scenes now. Let me just lock the scenes in place. So that's that button up here. Scene one is going to be pattern one. Let's listen. Yep, can hear the shaker in there. Clap coming in there. Phil. Wicked. So that's showing you that we've got separate scenes, but separate patterns. So we're overcoming that limitation. So what we do next is we need to basically trigger the MIDI notes. And I'm just going to use the keyboard here. So I'm going to do Command plus K. And I'm going to show you if we get these up, we've got the ability to switch. You see that? So I can switch between these. Um, let me have a listen. Yeah, do you know what? I'm just going to record something in so you can see this happening. All right, so let's just push record here.
Okay, so I made a couple of mistakes there, but we've got the MIDI data. Let's take away that keyboard. The MIDI data here is what's being used to trigger those patterns. All right, so let's have a listen again. Come to the hardware. See that switching? And of course, that means the pattern is switching. So there you go. That's it. It's a workaround. You can do pattern switching and record that in as MIDI data. You've just got to use scenes. So it makes sense to have a separate instance of machine for your beats. And then if you want to get busy with other stuff, another instance.